short video. I don't know if it's going to be a two-parter. I'm hoping it's not. I'm actually making a card. So what I've done already is sort of get all my layers out and kind of decide what I'm going to do. I've fussy cut some of the... This is the ladies' diary papers. I've cut a doily, so we've got parts of the doily. No point having a full one if you're not going to see parts of it. And then I've fussy cut this out. And yes, it was very hard to fussy cut. As you can see, it's very delicate. But it just gives it a lovely effect. So as you guys can see there in the light. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to do this technique that I've shown before. But I didn't get to show because the video got deleted and stuff like that. So I kind of explained it but didn't show you. So then I said the next time I did it, I would show you. So this is distressed, all edges are distressed, this is cut the shape, the size of the card and then I've got this piece. This piece is lovely and it's, I love the background of it and I love this. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to scoot that to the side and I've got here a cutting mat and a craft knife and I've also got my glue gun because I find the glue gun works the best with doing this technique. Um, I probably wouldn't use glue because the hot glue basically sticks it straight away and you need that and you're going to need a distresser or you can just use your scissors that sometimes works better to get into those corners I usually just use this but okay let's get cracking all right so all the edges are distressed now we're going to slit it as it depends how high you want your curls and how far you want them out so what we're going to do is and just remember the further you go out the weaker the paper is going to get so it's going to be easier to tear so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here yeah, and I'm going to go actually I'm going to start about here down because like I said the further you get to this edge it's going to weaken that paper so you will your paper will tear okay so just go down Push as hard as you can. Okay, that's that. And you can see I've got a slit there. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Go about, okay, hang on, we'll just line it. My eye line is about here. Ready? Do the same thing. So you're going to have like a big X. Okay. So you guys can see that. See the flaps. So now, what I usually do, if I'm using a 6x6 paper pad, I will line the inside with another paper. But with this one being a double-sided, the 8x8 pad, I haven't. So for this one, I'm just going to now get in there. With my distress on. Just distress it up as much as you can. It will be a bit awkward. And you can also ink at this time if you like to ink your papers. Just be careful not to tear it any more than it already is. Okay. And just keep distressing. And this is the Heidi Swap Distressor. I find this is one of the best distressors um, out that's one of the little ones. I am going to get the Prima one eventually, but at the moment, this works. Okay. And the only other thing is if you're using a 6x6 paper, make sure it's glued the full way if you're going to back it with another piece of pattern paper. Because the problem is when you cut your bits, you, your paper will flap in the inside like it won't be smooth like it is there. So just be careful of that. Sorry. Okay, now what we're going to do is take... I'll just hold that up so you guys can see it. So it's all distressed every edge okay now we can do is take our glue gun and I like to use also is my paper piece piercer 
So what I'm going to do is just put my glue in here. So I'm just using just ordinary glue gum and I'll just put it here across. Sorry guys, hang on. I know it's hot because it just burnt me. Okay, maybe it wasn't pushed in enough. Okay, just glue across there. Done. Okay, now what you're going to do is curl that paper back and bend it with that. So as you guys can see there. So there is a bit of a trick to it. As you can see there, it's curled. So it's basically curling it back and then curling it again. And you can also make it a bit more dimensional by just bending it. Just going to do the same thing with the glue. Okay. And then like I said, tuck it under like that and then use this to bend it under and then just push. strands everywhere. Okay. There we are. Alright, let's keep going. More glue down here. Hang on, just push this through. I don't know what's up with this glue gun. I don't like to use glue guns, you guys know that. But for this is the only thing I found that's any good. Okay, so curl that up and bring that on under. doesn't work just pull it before it dries okay get the glue there okay. and I like mine to be a little bit dimensional but not too dimensional because it's got to also go in an envelope at the end of the day. Sorry, I'm just getting rid of some of the glue strands. I don't like those. Okay, now a bit more glue. Across here. Just bend that under. Doesn't help that I've got the shakes today, but you just have a bit of a play and bend it to how you like it. Me, I'm perfectionist, so I try to make it as the same as possible. There we are. So there's your curl back. Okay. Hang on guys, I'm going to redo this panel. Just not happy with it. Okay, bend that under. Perfect. Okay, so now that's going to go on the card, so in the middle. Okay, so what we're going to do with the doilies is we're going to grab some scissors. I'm just going to turn that heat gun so I don't burn myself. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, now that's off the desk. Okay, now we're going to get our scissors. I basically worked out all my embellishments, so. Hopefully that'll be a bit quicker. Okay. First of all, I'm just going to glue my base, my card this down to the base. Okay. Again, like I said, all pages are distressed using the ladies' diary paper. Okay. 
for this one. Done. This is for my DT with scrapbooking and craft, the chipboard company. Okay, I'm gonna stick that down here. The great thing about using glue is you can knock it off. <laughs> okay. Right. Next, what we're going to do is I've got these doilies. Where's my other one gone? I'm so sorry, guys. Just lost my doily. Okay. So what we're going to do is just cut this one. Because you're going to see it inside the tear, if you guys know what I mean. So we're going to cut it a bit more. And these doilies are from Scrapbooking and Craft. So we're going to walk up there. Okay, like that. Okay. What I'm doing now is I'm going, I've got my doily. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually going to attach it top and bottom to this piece. Okay, just glue it on in there. And I am going to just stick it on. And I just want that top piece to show. strands still can tell why I don't like to use glue okay and then just use this and this is just 480 glue okay again the same thing just make sure it's in the center Sorry guys, I'm just evening it up. Okay. That would be it. Okay, now we're going to stick it down. is I've got my fussy cat items they are gonna go here in the corner okay so we're gonna glue that down okay that's in the corner now we're gonna add this up in this corner another fussy cat bit The reason I've used these fussy cut bits, I just want it to be poking out the leaves. Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're going to take our bits that I think I'm going to do. Okay, so 
what I'm thinking up there, so I'm just going to stick that now so it's ready. Okay, pink. And I'm putting smaller ones up the top, bigger ones down the left hand corner, bottom corner. Okay, what I like to do is put my flowers sideways, it just makes them sit a bit more dimensionally up. Okay. Okay. Instead of having them flat. Okay, next what we're going to take is the mesh from Scrapbooking and Craft. This one right here. And this is absolutely gorgeous mesh. As you can see, it's mesh and it's got little bits of white in it. So we're going to glue that over the top. And you're still going to see that die cut over the top, so don't worry about that. And I've just put some double-sided tape underneath the middle, um, underneath it, just to stick it a bit better. Okay, next we're going to take these here. I'm going to glue these here, poking out pretty high. And the same on the other side. Okay, I've taken two. Again, these are from Scrapbooking and Craft. Okay, pin them in a bit. Done. Okay, next what we're going to do is take our flowers and I'm just going to put them here. All these flowers are from World Orca Craft. going to take this brown one, poke it on in there, still the mesh is poking out, and take another cream one and put it on the other side, yep, okay, motorbike, okay, so we got that, so there's the card, you guys can see that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, I'm thinking of putting cameo down there. Glue. And I just use glue for everything, even metal. I will actually glue metal with the same glue. I won't change over to any other glue. Okay, now I'm just poking this metal here. You know me, can't live without my metal. Okay. And then on the other side. These are just a big leaf that I've actually cut down. Taking some buds and I just wrap them around each other so they're different levels. And I just twist them. Okay. Cut. This project that needs it actually. I think that's enough. Yep. Okay. Now what I've got to decide is what I'm going to put in the middle. I'm thinking that. Let's just test a few things. Okay. 
Okay, I'm thinking that one. Actually, I know what to do. Perfect. All I've done is take um, kiwi. Actually, no, I tell the lie. It's forever green. Perfect color. And I just, that's the piece originally before you put the things on it. Sorry. Okay. Alright, and then, now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take some pearls, I think. Actually, I tell why I'm going to take this. Does that need? Hang on, let's see. That there again, these are flourishes from Scrapbooking and Craft. I'm so sorry. Oops, okay, and then take the other side, the same. So that's that piece, and you can get a lot out of that if you're going to use it for cards. I wonder if that needs something underneath. No, I don't think so. Okay. So that's my card for today, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I'll just zoom out so you guys can see that. So all the detail down there. And I'll probably just put some pearls on the middle of the butterfly. So that's my card for today. Be sure to go check out Scrapbook and Craft. They have some awesome stuff I've used for this project. Their cameos, their stamens, which are the stamens down here. I've used their cameo, I've used their beautiful butterflies, I've used their doilies, and this lovely mesh. So, I will see you later.